My name is Kathy Jeffries and I'm running for the Hampshire County School Board. I worked as um, manager of Miller's Market years ago and then after it completely closed, I uh, went to work as a part-time house cleaner for people. I still do that, um, but as I'm getting, I'm semi-retired, I say that because as clients are passing on or, you know, their situation changes, they're moving in with family, I'm not replacing. So I'm, I'm using that as my retirement plan. <laughs> so um, my husband and I have lived in Hampshire County for 35 years. And um, he is pastor of a local church. And I, you know, have been involved. I've been a 4-H leader. Um, I'm currently in charge of Operation Christmas Child in Hampshire County. And right now, for the last 60 days, I've been a Hampshire County School Board member filling in uh, a position where someone else had to resign to go to a different job. I, I think I am a, um, a candidate that is someone that looks at a situation, you see the, the situation for what that situation is, you don't have pat answers because as soon as you think you've got answers or you think even just doing this for 60 days, um, if, if you try to get a read on a situation, you quickly realize you don't know as much as you did before. So. Um, you know, I would like to tell you that I'm the best because I'm so knowledgeable and so bright and everything else, but that's not the case. I'm willing to, um, show grace. Um, there's a lot of situations as a Hampshire County school board member, you have to read a situation and I can tell you, we always want what's best for the student. We want what's best students first, then personnel. Um, we want what's best for every individual. And I don't come in with an agenda, although some people would like to think that everybody's got an agenda. So um, it's a long way of saying I, I feel like I'm up to the job. Well, right off the bat, I'd like to learn more about, because right now everything is coming at me. I've been in the job for 60 days and everything's coming at me. Information is coming like water out of a fire hose. And so, and I realized that, that in the school system, not because they're trying to be in any certain way, but in the school system, there's a lot of terminology that you kind of have to learn. There's a lot of acronyms that you have to learn what they stand for. And um, I want to, first of all, I want to improve my knowledge base on these things. Then as far as what I would like to accomplish, I'd like to be the voice, somebody that, is sitting there as a voter that they could look at me and realize um, she has my values, you know, she has similar values to what I have, and she's gonna rule. It's not like you're ruling like a ruler, but you're gonna fill that job with um, common sense. And I wanna see, um, I wanna see some of these things that we seem to be stuck on in the schools. I'd like to see answers and I'd like to see those answers come from um, compromise. Some people think compromise is a dirty word, but it's not. Sometimes you dig your heels into a situation and you've just made more trouble for yourself down the road. So I'd like to see more of that on the board. We need to focus on where the state has mandated that we focus on the um, Special, special education department. Um, I understand a little bit better now that I'm in here and I, I, I can understand, you know, it's not near as dramatic as some would make it out to be. There are some reasons why. And I understand that and whether I could actually articulate that without saying things and getting this person wrong or that fact wrong. Um, I understand it better. There are a myriad of students that have IEPs. There's so many students that have that and there's so many nuances as to how parents want us to handle their child and what they expect uh, to be successful. 
And so the state has certain criteria coming down, what they think is successful. And um, in some aspects, I see, you know, the state is right on a lot of issues. There's, there's some things that have a little give to them. Um, that's got to be though, our, our special needs children, our children in special education has got to be a priority. Also, we're dealing with the issue, which a lot of corporations are dealing with, where all of a sudden we had COVID money that is, is gone bye-bye. And, um, and you would think, well, that's an easy, that's an easy fix because you just go back to what you had four years ago before you started having that COVID money. Well, there's a little thing called the economy that has drastically changed in those four years. So what you, what you could purchase with money four years ago on that budget is totally different now. And so we do see there's, um, there's some things there that's going to be challenging. I do see um, the attendance issue in the high school. I'm encouraged because we have the LSIC meetings and we have the uh, elementary schools that are doing tremendous. But, and then even the middle schools don't seem to be doing so bad at all. It seems like the higher you go for an age of a child, um, the more the attendance issue is a problem. And so we need to find creative ways. I think we've got um, personnel that are finding creative ways. And as a school board, we've got to be open to listen to them because they're the ones. I mean, I can tell you what I think. Well, you know, this is what I'd do if it's my kid. Well, you know, that doesn't work. It's not a cookie cutter situation. And so um, I think those are the three main things that I see um, issues that we need to focus our attention on. I think the school board needs to be careful. The leadership on the school board needs to be careful that we, if there's issues that where we have um, conflicts with the public on things, even if we see things, you know, even if the leadership sees things one way, they need to not come down and, and speak in a condescending manner to the crowd. And, you know, there's issues right now, this main issue, um, the school names, and I'll just say it, okay, um, the school names, which has you know, really thrown me kind of like in the midst of, you know, in the midst of that issue. And I have listened on my best to listen to both sides of the issue. And I kind of want to take the Rodney King attitude of why can't we all just get along? And um, there are things that we may not agree on. And there are things I, I've told people, I will not align myself with someone that comes across the, in a hateful manner because you're never gonna get anything accomplished if, if it's gonna be my way or the highway, or I'm so much smarter than everybody else in the room, so I'm gonna look at you in a condescending manner and say, this is the way you need to be doing something. So I think that's an issue um, the school board needs to be a little better at that. Well, um, the other day we did have a work day at the, you know, in the um, board office and we were looking at different avenues, different educational opportunities that we could put out there for those that are having trouble with certain um, certain addictions, certain, we have parents that maybe they don't know, uh, honestly, you know, they don't have any clue as to how uh, addicting some things can be and how that it can be addressed. We are looking as a school board, we're looking into that, actively looking into that. And I came out of that meeting the other day really excited because I think we do have, um, we have the potential of having a setup that provides education, provides um, opportunities for parents to realize there's help for them because parents, our parents do a good job. But I, you ask me, at what point in time was I the best parent? It was after my kids were raised because then I could tell you exactly what I had done wrong. And so you hit situations, especially with teenagers, um, middle school students and high school students, that parents um, need help. Sometimes, you know, they used to get that help 
from grandma and gra granddad, and maybe it was a correct way to help, but maybe it, you know, it, it wasn't. Um, but we need to provide resources as a school board, you know, and I see that happening, and I'm excited about some future things that are coming down, coming from. I would like to see, and I'm still checking into a lot of this, I would like to see um, some of our little things corrected. You know, it, it's, we have students that need to, um, they need to be logged in to their computer courses on day one, or maybe day two, give a little bit of, you know, they need to see that happen. They need to see, um, and these are little minor little things that we need to tweak so that our students are better prepared. I think they've instituted recently in the last few years, a grow your own policy where we have students that are, um, you know, we're offering them incentives to go ahead and to take courses in education and then they're help turning around and helping us. And I'd like to see more of an opportunity for that. I'd also like to see, as I mentioned in the previous answer, I'd like to see more of our students you know, it's one thing to provide something for your honor students or for your overachieving students, but I there we need to to have a good school and to be uh, primo in in things. We need to offer things. We need to offer dangle some carrots to our um, students that seemingly fall through the cracks. And I think you know, there's ways that we can look at it. I see this current school board, I see them wanting the same thing. I, you know, they're wanting to do things um, that dangles that carrot, that educates these children. And um, I can't tell you that I know that they're gonna work, but I know sitting and doing nothing is, is not gonna be successful at all. So I, I do see things that we can do in those manners. I, th I think it's difficult because most people do know me and um, they think I'm opinionated and I am. They think I'm, uh, you know, most people would think that I am not afraid to stand up, you know, to certain things and I do, but they don't know that I've been shown grace and mercy. I am not your typical, you know, people have um, certain ideas about, uh, people, you can look at somebody and say, oh, they must have been born into a home. You know, I've heard my husband and I both, you guys must have been home, been preacher's kids. No. <laughs> no. I can tell you stories. I've often said, um, you know, I could write a book. <laughs> I know other people have said that, but I have been shown grace and mercy by individuals and, you know, in other ways. And I want what's best for each individual, even if I don't agree with them. I, I want, you know, when I see somebody and we can disagree and I will staunchly support my, my side of the issue, but it, when it's all said and done, I want that person to be successful. And I want there to be peace. I want what's best for the other person as well as for myself. You need to participate in the vote. Okay, that's what this is. This interview is about. I'm, it, but we need participation in the schools. We need volunteers in the schools. We need participation. Find a way to get involved somehow, some way. You don't have to be the president of the PTO. You don't have to um, carry a banner. But there are things that you can do to get involved. And people want to set. Um, We've all done it, sit and watch, you watch a football game or you watch a sports event and you're sitting there in your living room behind your remote and you're saying, boy, if I was the, you know, coach, this is what I would do. Or if I was the quarterback, this is what I would do. You find out a whole lot different when you get involved and you find out it's not quite as easy. And that knowledge base, once you find out and you get involved and you find out that, um, you know, I've got to work better with people. I've got to read situations better. Regardless, you know, of what you're doing in life, get involved. Get involved more um, in our community. And if you have uh, children or grandchildren in the schools, please be involved. 